The road to a championship is built on years of practice and hard work. That's true in basketball and the construction industry. The apprenticeship and upgrade training programs provided by the Athens Area Union Building Trades produces the workforce with the most modern skills and cutting edge knowledge in the industry. The key to success to the Bobcats on the floor is the same as your choice on the work site. The winning move is working with members of the Athens Area Union Building Trades, proud sponsor of Ohio University Basketball. Plan your next visit to stand up and cheer for your Ohio Bobcats in Athens County, Ohio. Visit AthensOhio.com, the best resource for where to eat, where to stay, where to shop, and where to play. Athens County is home to countless trails and outdoor activities. Enjoy mountain biking, kayaking, rock climbing, and hiking. Find your own adventure. Cruise the Hawk Hawking Adena Bikeway. Mountain bike the Bailey's Trail System. Hike trails less traveled at Stroud's Run State Park. Or ride nine thrilling motorcycle routes on Ohio's Windy Nine. We can't wait to see you in Athens County, Ohio. Ohio University baseball has a chance to win the series and sweep the doubleheader right here. It's 22 and 19 and 14, 12 Ohio, and 13 and 33 and 11 and 23 Akron. And from Bob Wren Stadium in Athens, it's time for Bobcat baseball. Hi, friends. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Jordan Bowes manning the web stream to the room to my right. Long day at the ballpark. Hopefully, a fun day at the park. After Ohio won Game One to the doubleheader 5-2, taking Game One of the series 12-4 outscoring the Zips 17-6 in the two games in the series. They turn to Hudson Bunkle, right-handed starter from Corona, California. 6-3-205, and the freshman is 1-2 with the 7-1-2 ERA. Connor Steinbaugh works for Akron. He's a right-hander as well, 6-foot-200 from a tiny town of Georgetown, Illinois, in Vermilion County, south of Danville, only 3,100 in that town, Georgetown, Illinois, and a transfer from Lincoln Trail College. He's 1-3 with a 3-5-1 ERA. He is making his eighth start. We'll set the defense and the lineups for you as we get along here. Bonkel faces off against the Akron Zips as the Cats trying to sweep this doubleheader and take this series in game three of this series. Ohio's Bonkel bouncing ball to first right at the bag as Kale Baker was right there, and there's the first out of the ball game on a bouncing ball to first, and Pennington is retired, and there's one away. Here is Tate Wargo. Defensively for Ohio, it's Harbert in left, Peterson in center, Roush in right. At third, it's Casper Bauer, Dolan at short, Hindegas at second, Baker at first. Battery of Alex Finney. And Hudson Bonkel. So Finney in there, DHing today. It is Mason Minzy. Here's Wargo, their DH. 1 0 pitch coming. There's a strike. It's 1 1. Pennington, Wargo, Benson, top of the lineup. Arivo, Schellenbarger, Sprocket, middle of the lineup for Akron. Kaito, Hara, Reinhardt, and Barr. Round out the starting lineup for the Zips, 7, 8, and 9. For Ohio, it's Peterson, Roush, Casper Bauer, top three. Minzy, Harbert, Finney, middle three. Baker, Dolan, and Xavier Hindegas round out the lineup. Steinbaugh on the mound for the Zips. Bonkel on the bump for the Bobs. 1-1 one one the count, the pitch. Hit the mitt, but outside of the zone, it's 2-1. That started just after 3.30 today on a beautiful day in Southeast Ohio. Two and two the count on Tate Wargo. Next one, bounce foul to the Bobcat dugout. Two and two, 68 degrees in Southeast Ohio. Wind out of the east, northeast at seven. Just a beautiful day. 2-2 pitch, one gone, top of the first, nine-inning ball game. Bonkel brings it home. Cut to first, there's Baker. Skids on his right knee, about head high, made the catch as he went one step to his right. And a little skid, two up, two down. So Baker retires the first two. And 
And here's Benson, their shortstop. First one, pops the mitt for a strike. It's 0-1. Left-handed batter in the pitch. Tap foul at the plate. 0-2 the count. Cameron Benson had a base hit in the opener of the series. Hits here now. Two gone. Base is clean. Bouncing ball heading up the middle. It's there for a base hit. Just to the right of Hindigas and into right center field. So a single for him. And the Zips first hit. Here's Nick Arrivo, their cleanup hitter and left fielder. Bobcats won game one of the double dip, 5-2 after winning the opener of the series, 12-4. Ohio out hit the Zips in game one of the twin bill, 12-4. That was the score of the game last night. Arrivo one for two in the opener of the doubleheader, and he takes a fastball strike in the inside edge. It is 0-1. Hudson Bonkel, a strategic leadership major out of Corona, California. He was really good at Miami last weekend. He struck out 11, walked one, gave up four hits, just one earned run. Six innings of work. Ohio... Won the game 10-9. That was the finale of that doubleheader. 0-1 pitch coming. Bouncing ball towards short. Long run, everybody. It sneaks through for a base hit. Casper Bauer went to his left. Dolan went to his right and positioned perfectly for back-to-back -back singles for the Zips, and they've got something working here. In the top of the first with two gone. Here's Bryant Schellenbarger, their five-hole hitting right fielder. Schellenbarger in the opener of the doubleheader went 0 for 3. In game one of this series, he had a two-run homer. Their best hitter, left-handed batter against the righty Hudson Bonkel. First and second, the runner is two gone. There is a strike. Outside edge. Don't think the Zips dug out like that very much. It's 0-1. Bonkle from the stretch. Schellenbarger, left-handed batter. And here it is. Big swing and a miss. 0-2 the count. Ohio and Akron for the 112th time all-time. Ohio looking for win number 74. First and second, the runners. Fastball missed outside. One and two the count. Benson at second, Arrivo at first. Bonkel from the stretch brings it home. Slapped through to third and caught. Casper Bauer was there. I gave up on it, but Casper Bauer didn't. Thought it was heading to left, didn't get there, and the zips are out of the inning. They get two hits, no runs. Strand two, we're through with a half. Presented by McDonald's, nothing for the Zips. Ohio coming up, this is Bobcat Baseball. Voice of the Bobcats, Russ Eisenstein, on behalf of David White Services, the largest heating and cooling dealer in Southeast Ohio. They've been the choice of thousands for over 45 years. Offering the most efficient Lennox heat pumps, air conditioners, and furnaces, David White Services can save you money on your heating and cooling bills. Thanks, Russ. I'm David White. And I'm Esther White Thomas, inviting you to call us today to schedule a free estimate for heating and cooling or a new gas fireplace. David White Services is a proud sponsor of Ohio Bobcat Athletics. You got your go-tos, your standbys, even your favorites. But the beefy, cheesy burgers at McDonald's take you back to where it all began. Your bite zero when you first tasted what a burger should be like. Two perfectly seasoned beef patties stacked with a single slice of melty cheese on a golden bun. Now at McDonald's, get two McDouble burgers for $3. Whatever it is to you, classics are classics for a reason. 
Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. Zips threatened in the top of the first inning. Can't score. So Isaiah Peterson, A.J. Roush, and Colin Kasperbauer are scheduled here against Connor Steinbaugh. Where's a 14 right-handed starter from Georgetown, Illinois? One and three. This is his eighth start. Three five one ERA. 26 innings of work. Thereabouts. 25 and two thirds. 26 hits. 13 runs. 10 earned. Nine walks. 18 strikeouts. He's given up four homers. Opposition hitting 250 against him. Connor Steinbaugh. Isaiah Peterson to start it off. Ohio center fielder. Game one of the doubleheader, he went two for four. Peterson, game one of the series, walked and uh, singled. Takes one outside from Steinbaugh, who's trying to find the... Uh, Feel of the mound. Field turf everywhere. Turns, plants, kicks, fires, drops it low. 2 0 the count. Trying to shake things out up there. They've got a pitch sheet at the belt buckle for him in the pitch. A little bit outside. 3 0 the count. Akron in the Graves, Ohio in green tops and white pants on a 60-degree day. 3-0 pitch to Isaiah Peterson. Gets one in there, get me over fastball, it is 3-1. Ohio had four multi-hit efforts in game one. Peterson, Roush, Harbert, and Sturick. 3-1 pitch to Pete. There is a strike, it's 3-2. Breeze is blowing in. Ballpark faces the northeast. Steinbaugh from the wind and brings it home. High chopper to first, backing up on it. Bar favorable hop, flips to the pitcher covering for the out. 3-1 to retire Isaiah Peterson. Here's A.J. Roush. Ohio's right fielder. Game one, he went two for four. Right on right and the pitch. Turns him away. It was up and in. One and oh. Arrivo, Pennington, Schellenbarger in the outfield, left to right. Reinhardt, Benson, Hara Barr on the infield left to right. Sprocket and Steinbaugh, the battery. And a soft one misses inside. It's 2-0. Oh. Not much chatter at the ballpark. Very quiet crowd today. 2-0 -oh pitch. Fastball strike. 2-1. Ohio trying to win the series. It would be the uh, Cats' third, beating Kent State, Eastern Michigan, and now Akron. This is hit on the ground through. Right side and into right. Single for A.J. Roush. Here's Colin Kasperbauer. Kasperbauer in game one of the doubleheader went one for four, brought in a run, struck out. Kasperbauer came into the weekend. Second best hitter in the back. Minzy's still in the game, the DH. He's not catching, amazingly enough. Alex Finney is today for Ohio. Runner at first, one gone, and the pitch. Fastball high, 1-0. and oh.
did go final in 10 innings in DeKalb. Eastern Michigan beat Northern Illinois 6-3. And Ball State won again. Throw to first, and it gets away. Off the wall, slaps back to the line, and up 90 feet goes A.J. Roush on an air on the pitcher. It was a favorable bang off of the wall there, and it went back into fair territory, basically. Hara had to come over and take it. Runner in scoring position. One gone, bottom of the first, presented by McDonald's. Ohio trying to scratch out another early lead. Casper Bauer sends this foul, third base side, out of play. Ball State beat Kent State 9-5. So they have outscored KSU 21-5 in two games. On a weekend, they're honoring their College World Series team from 10 years ago. Smash to short near the bag. Benson down on a knee. Fires to first and a great backhand pickup by Barr. Two gone up to third on the play is Roush. Up the middle. And because of the shade there with the runner on at second, they were positioned quite well. Benson was able to make the play and Barr on the backside did well with it. So here's Mason Minzy. Minzy, game one of the doubleheader, went one for three. Hits here now in the bottom of the first. Runner at third, two gone. And the pitch from Steinbaugh. In for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Steinbaugh making his ninth start. Low ERA, 1 and 3. Yeah, from a, a little town, Georgetown, Illinois, just south of Danville, the pitch. Swing and a miss. Didn't mean to go, but he did. It's 0 and 2. And uh, he went to Lincoln Trail College, which is basically between Terre Haute and Vincennes, and Robinson, Illinois, just across the Indiana Illinois border. Two strikes on Minzy in the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Tailed back in. And a nice job by Steinbaugh to get out of trouble. Ohio strands a man at third. We're through with one. Nine inning ball game. Scoreless game. Ohio and Akron. Game three of the series. Game two of the doubleheader. This is Bobcat Baseball. Whether you're coming to Athens to root on the Bobcats, visiting friends and family, or just in town for business, the Hampton Inn in Athens wants to be your home away from home. With 86 sparkling rooms, complimentary high-speed internet, hot breakfast served each morning, and a spa and business center, you can expect a great night's stay with service that will bring you back. Visit us on the web at HamptonInn.com. That's HamptonInn.com. And go Bobcats! Okay, people, we all know what's at stake in this game. Zoe, what's at stake? Our futures. Our futures. And is anything going to keep us from achieving our goal? No way. Because what do we have? The plan. Ohio's 529 plan. Because in this family, how do we play the college savings game? Tax free. And where do we play it? Um, I don't know, Daddy. That's okay, Pumpkin. Want to win at college savings? Go to collegeadvantage.com slash bobcats. Top of the second inning is on. Hudson Bonkel back out there for his second inning of work. Ohio's freshman from California. Scoreless game presented by People's Bank. Working together, building success. Michael Sprocket leads it off. It is Sprocket, Hara, Reinhardt. Here for the Zips who enter the ball game with 13 wins. Ohio's 14 league wins. They are 11 and 23 in the back. First one from Bonkel misses outside. It's 1 and 0. 
to uh, Sprocket, their catcher. Left-handed batter wears 34. Rigid rock of the bat. This is popped foul. Back home and out of play. Sprocket in game one went 0 for 2. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Actually got a maybe a little piece of that. He was hitless in the opener of the series. Swing and a miss, strike three. Elevated heat. Hudson Bunkle gets the K. He had 11 of those against the Red Hawks last weekend. That is his first strikeout today. Got the win in a game against Canisius in the non-conference series. And here's Kaito Hara, K-A-I-T-O, Hara, H-A-R-A, 263 hitter, making his 25th start, right-handed batter, and the first one misses outside. It is 1-0. Swing and a miss. 1-1. One one. He's from Houston, Texas. He's a junior. He's 5'5", 155. A little spark plug from IMG Academy. Crouches as he waits, takes a strike. One and two the count. Of his size and stature, you think of Jose Altuve for the Astros, and he's from Houston, Texas. This is fouled off, back at home, out of play. It takes all sizes, all shapes. The game of baseball is amazing that way. You got the talent, you can play, and you bring something to the table. Here it is from Bonkel. Called, strike three, dropped a curveball in there and got him back-to-back -back K's to start off the Akron second. Here's Jerry Reinhardt, their third baseman. Reinhardt in uh, game one of the doubleheader went one for three. He homered. Hits here now with two gone, bases clear, top of two. Hudson Bonkel on the beam, as they say. And they are the ones that say it. There's a strike. It's 0-1. Next one from Bonkel sweeps outside. Too many tabs open in my Internet Explorer. This is fouled back to the screen. It's too many things. There's not a whole lot of paper for home games, so everything is online. Reinhardt hits 236 updated average. Three homers, 19 runs batted in. One, two pitch coming. Missed outside. I don't think Bonkel really liked how he released that ball. Two and two the count. Scoreless game, top of two. Bonkel peers in for the sign. Here it is on 2-2. Two -two. Swinging a foul tip out of the mid of Finney. We'll do it again at 2-2. Two and two. Long day at the park. But it's a whole lot better with this weather than we've had of doubleheaders earlier this year. You remember the Central Michigan series? It was snowing. 2-2. Two -two. Swinging a foul tip again. That's tough work behind the plate, just out of the mid of Finney, especially when you don't catch every game. One more time at 2-2 two and two with two gone. More time and room for you if you wish to come out to the ballpark. 2-2 two -two pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Hudson Bunkle strikes out the side in the second. We head to the bottom half. Game three of the series, game two of the doubleheader, scoreless, Ohio and Akron. This is Bobcat Baseball. At People's Bank, our vision is to be the best community bank in America. We focus on building relationships with our clients and offering cutting edge financial products. People's Bank is proud to support the local communities in which we work and live. This is Ashley Brown, People's Bank Vice President and Regional Manager, and we would love a chance to earn your business. People's Bank, working together, building success. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. 
You expect world-class primary care from Memorial Health System. It's time to expect more, much more. Our patients now also get free virtual urgent care. So expect our expertise everywhere and answers anytime for free. No one else offers this because we're reinventing primary care. So find out more and expect more today from Memorial Health System. Bottom of the second inning is on. Welcome back to the Wren. Or perhaps you've never left. Spencer Harbert leads it off. Scoreless game, Ohio and the Zips. Akron has two hits, Ohio has one. We're in the bottom of the second. Harbert, Finney, and Kale Baker scheduled against Connor Steinbaugh, the starting pitcher for Akron. First one's upstairs, it's 1-0. Harbert, game one, went two for four. One of four multi-hit efforts for Ohio. Right on right to start it, and the pitch. Up and in, 2-0. Toledo won game one of their doubleheader with Bowling Green, one nothing. So the Rockets continuing to have a really good year in MAC play. 0-2 in there for a strike. Two and one the count. A lot of hitting room in right center field. Wind seems to be turning a bit. 2-1. Missed inside, 3-1 and one the count. So the question will come behind Ohio. What's Miami and Eastern Michigan going to bring to the table the rest of the year? Next weekend's massive. Ohio at Ball State. Tournament could be there too. 3-1, bends in for a strike. It's 3-2. and two. From Akron's perspective, though, they are playing for pride. And there are a lot of worse things to do in a prideful situation than play baseball. Payoff pitch. Inside, ball four, leadoff walk. Here's Alex Finney. Right-handed batter. Finney with an open stance, making his 25th start. He's a 325 hitter, 27 for 83, 16 runs batted in, takes what appears to be a slider outside. It's 1 0. In at third is Reinhardt. Off the bag and now holding the runner on at first is Barr. Steinbaugh from the stretch. And the pitch. Off the fist, foul, back of first, and drops harmlessly, but it is a strike. Ohio is not trailed in this series. It was tied at four yesterday, and then Ohio scored eight unanswered. Steinbaugh from the stretch. A long pause. And the 1-1. One, one. Fouled back. 1-2. One and two. This is just one of those lazy days at the ballpark. May the 8th. I think because of the weather... It seems like this season has kind of taken a while. One and two the count and the pitch. Fouled off again. Towards the Hawking. That Hawking River now, it, it swells with the, the drainage from the rain. Really an amazing thing. They moved the entire river. It's, it's one thing to 
to move from one house to another, but an engineering project of moving a river? One, two, fouled off again. Used to go through campus and flood. This is a floodplain. That's why the convo's on stilts, but moving an entire river. It's really something. I wonder how many baseballs are there in the hockey. One and two the count, one gone. Or rather, nobody gone here in the bottom of the second in a scoreless game. Runner at first in the pitch. Got under it, popped it up to short. Benson's there, and he makes the catch. That's the first out of the inning. Harbert stays at first. Here's Kale Baker, who's been active early defensively. Baker's updated average, 188. Three homers, 21 runs batted in. Had a bases loaded walk in game one. Brought in another run in game one of the doubleheader. Hits here now, runner at first, one gone, bottom of two. Throw to first just to check on Harbert is uh, Steinbaum. He slows it up when there's a runner on base. Here it is to Baker, fouled off at the plate. 0-1. This is the time of the day where the, uh, the sun makes it pretty hard to read all the numbers on the scoreboard. They're yellow bulbs, and they're not the brightest bulbs in the world, but it's a little difficult to read. As we look out on West Green, a week after graduation, there was a graduation ceremony for the players before the game. Baker with a big swing and a miss, 0-2. So the graduating Bobcat players had a graduation ceremony prior to the game, which is a, a cool tradition. It's happened a couple of times before when Ohio's on the road during graduation weekend. I believe... Uh, the Heritage College of Osteopathic Medicine had a graduation ceremony yesterday. 0-2, low and away. They appeal. He did not go. 1-2. and two. The pomp and circumstance of graduation. One and two the count, one gone. I believe it was graduation day yesterday at Akron. The jar was packed. Another throw over. Speaking of the jar, former Bobcat head basketball coach John Gross receives an extension there. I think all told, if he if they get to the end of the extension, that'll be a 13-year tenure at Akron for him. 1-2, fouled off. First base side out of play. Ohio won at the jar this year, and then the Zips really got it going here with a commanding win on a Friday night. They then beat their rival Kent State in the MAC Tournament Championship game, and then they pushed UCLA in Portland. That was a heck of an effort there. UCLA then lost to North Carolina a couple of rounds later. Baker gets under this and flies it to left. Arivo comes in near the line, still coming, makes the one-handed catch. The sun glistening off of those glasses as he came in. Two gone, back to first is Harbert. Here's Nick Dolan. Bottom of the second, scoreless game. Dolan, 233 hitter now. Five homers, 17 runs batted in. But yeah, that win for the Zips here, that, that seemed to really gel them for their stretch run. And they won the MAC tournament, had a good first round effort against UCLA in the dance. So yeah, we'll see what that brings to the table through the uh, transfer portal and all that for the Zips and for the Bobcats too. 
Saw on Twitter yesterday a commitment from a transfer in the portal, football-wise, here. Excuse me, swing to first, off the bag bar, and then he taps on the sack for the out. Inning over. Ohio to lead off walk. Can't score him. We're through at two. Ohio and Akron scoreless. This is Bobcat Baseball. Let O'Neill Hartman Insurance show you how Grange's strong value and fast claim service delivers league-leading coverage. O'Neill Hartman Insurance will find you a Grange auto policy that balances competitive rates and responsive Grange claim service. O'Neill Hartman Insurance considers Grange their go-to company for their combination of great value and outstanding claim service. Call O'Neill Hartman at 740-797-4685 or visit them online at O'NeillHartman.com. Hi, this is Jared Dean with Dean Heating and Cooling. As your local Tempstar dealer, you can experience superior home comfort with Tempstar game-changing technology. Whether you need a fall tune-up or a midwinter repair call, our expert technicians will make sure your heating system is running at peak performance. Count on Dean Heating and Cooling and Tempstar to keep you cozy all winter long. Find us online at deanheatingandcooling.com and go Cats! Third inning presented by Union Street Diner. Ohio and Akron scoreless. Hudson Bonkel struck out the side an inning ago. Here's Justin Barr. 9-1-2 scheduled for the Zips. Barr, right-handed hitter. Bonkel from the wind, turns, kicks, and fires. Fouled off the mask of Finney to the screen. And the home plate umpire will run out to the mound to give Alex some time behind the plate. Some professional courtesy there. Barr in game one went 0 for 3. Barr was in the two hole in game one of the series, and he was hitless. Back in there now. 0-1 pitch, up and away, 1-1. One and one. Again, Ohio won game one, 12-4. One game two of the doubleheader, 5-2. Scoreless now as we're in the third. The 1-1. One Bar swings and flies it to right. Chalo, Roush in, Hendigas out, Xavier's there. And X marks the spot, and makes the catch, maybe about four feet fair. One up, one down here in the third. Back top side now to Pennington. Breaking ball strike, it's 0-1. Here it is from Hudson, smacked on the ground and through and into right field. Past the diving Xavier Hindigas. Third hit of the day for the Zips. Pennington now one for two. Here's Tate Wargo. Their DH. Wargo, he's out of Illinois as well, 5'8", 165. Runner breaks, pitches inside, throw down to second, the third base side, shortstop side of the bag at second, and Hindigas had to take that and make sure it stayed in the infield. It's a stolen base. So Pennington at second.
stolen base number 39 for them this year. Pennington now 9 for 10. Man in scoring position, one gone here in the third. Ohio and Akron are scoreless. Wargo a senior. 1 and 0 the count. Played two seasons at Lewis and Clark Community College. And the pitch in there for a strike. I'm from the home, I'm, my home state's in Illinois. He's from a town in Illinois I, I don't know if I've ever heard of. Fly ball to right. Easy for Roush. He's there, makes the catch. Bluff tag at second. B-E-N-L-D is where Tate Wargo is from, which is... B-E-N-L-D. Belled, Illinois? That's uh, north-northeast of Edwardsville, south of Springfield, southwest of Litchfield. Tiny little town north of Staunton. Anyway, that's where Tate War goes from. He flies out to right. First one in there is a strike to Benson, who is one for one today. Two gone, runner at second. Gosh, I, I know... A lot of Illinois geography. I'd never heard of that town before, but I'm sure it's delightful. Pitch misses upstairs. One and one the count. Two gone, runner at second. This game has a rather pedestrian sort of pace about it. Here it is from Bonkel. Slap foul, third base side out of play. One and two the count, two gone. Benson from Farmington Hills, Michigan, and he shoots this into center. There's Peterson. Makes the catch, and the inning's over. Zip strand a man. We're through two and a half. Scoreless game, Ohio and Akron. Game two of the doubleheader, game three of the series. This is Bobcat Baseball. If you're traveling to a game, a weekend road trip, or just around town, you need to stop at GoMart. You'll find a GoMart open 24 hours a day right off the interstate or right off Main Street in your local community. You can refuel your ride with quality gasoline and also yourself with popular snacks, drinks, and more. We're making it easy to keep up with your busy schedule by keeping you on the go. GoMart is the proud sponsor of Ohio Bobcat Football. Go for good time. Let's go Cats. Let's go Labatt Blue Light. When you drink a pristine Canadian Pilsner, you're good at beer. Bobcats fans, grab a Labatt Blue Light and be good at beer. Always enjoy responsibly. Copyright 2021 Labatt USA, Buffalo, New York. All rights reserved. Labatt, registered U.S. trademark of Labatt Brewing Company, LTD. Bottom of the third inning is on. Scoreless game, Ohio and Akron. Xavier Hindigas to lead it off. 9-1-2 and two scheduled here against Steinbaugh, whose opening pitch of this bottom of the third will be his 36th. Hindigas playing in his first game of this series. 308 hitter. 20 for 65 this year. This is his 23rd start. No homers. Six runs batted in. Pops his foul down the line and right and out of play. 
Barr was speeding over there and had to put on the brakes right by that retaining wall. It's 0-1-1. Just waiting for something to happen in this game. Three hits for the Zips, one for Ohio. Here it is from Steinbaugh. That drops low and away, one and one the count. Next one popped up near the on deck circle by the Zip dugout and Sprocket. Didn't seem like he located the ball early. It's tough to do. You got to turn around, locate, run. It's a strike. One and two, the count. Reds came back. They lead 5 2, top of the eighth. This could be their fifth win of the year. And they're second in the series with the Pirates. One, two, upstairs, two and two. Guardians trail 3-2 now, top of eight in Cleveland to Toronto. Jays trying to go to 18 and 12 on the year. Cleveland's 13 and 14. Two and two the count. Steinbaugh for Hindegas. Missed inside, three and two. One final, Phillies beat the Mets today, 3-2. The Metropolitans are now 19 and 10 on the year. Payoff pitch to the right-handed hitting Hindegas. Line shot softly over short and in the left for a base hit. Off the end of the bat, Benson gave it a look and then kind of jumped and dove. It's a single for Xavier Hindegas, Ohio's second hit of the day. Isaiah Peterson bats now. Bottom of the eighth in Atlanta, the Braves chopping their way to a another win over Milwaukee, 9-2. Final, the White Sox beat the Red Sox 3-2. Dallas Keuchel back on the beam. He's 2-3 with a 6-8-6 ERA. The Carmines are now 10-19 on the year. Yo. First one to Pete, up and away. Yankees and Rangers tied at one at the big ballpark in the Bronx. Rangers made a ton of off-season acquisitions, but they're 10 and 14. Peterson takes one up and away. 2-0 oh the count. Time called Sprocket out to the mound to visit with Steinbaugh. Pirates just got a run back. It's 5-3, top of the eighth inning at Great American Ballpark, where the Brewers will be tomorrow. So I guess I could get over there before heading to Muncie. We'll see. Got a busy Wednesday, though. Meeting done. Peterson back in there. Here it is. Pop up, down the line and left foul. Two and one the count. Two and one on Isaiah Peterson. Steinbaugh from the stretch and brings it home. Low and in. Three and one. Game just feels very casual right now. In the last of the third. Here it is from Steinbaugh. Bouncing ball with the runner going right at the shortstop. Benson at the bag. Sidearm throw to first. Got him. Double play. So Ohio had the runner going, and Benson again. That's happened a couple of times in this series where Akron has had defenders right there on a smash of a ball, either up the middle or to third. Two gone, bases clear. A.J. Rouse the batter now. Double play for the Zips.
And this is the, the worst fielding team statistically in the MAC. But they get the double play. Roush taps one foul to the Bobcat dugout, so and one. Two away, last of the third, scoreless game. Steinbaugh turns and fires. This is outside. One and one the count. Double header days, you just kind of get into this lull. Inning after an inning. Back to back games. Next one low from Steinbaugh. And to Ohio's credit there, they try to inject some life into it with getting the runner going. But the double play turned that away, 6-3. Roush, singled in his first plate appearance, takes one high here. Three and one the count. I believe this is Michael Schultz behind the plate, game three of the series. Three and one the count, two gone. Fouled off down the line and right. To the hill there. Fan plays it on one hop. Three and two the count. Two gone, base is clear. Home plate umpire. Very vocal behind the plate, which is good. Payoff pitch. Missed inside, ball four. Two out walk, A.J. Roush. Here's Colin Kasperbauer. Final score from Mount Pleasant, Western Michigan 11, Central Michigan 2. Wow. Yesterday, CMU won the doubleheader 14-1 and 19-7. So a combined 33-8. And today they lose 11-2. Final, Ball State 9, Kent State 5. Eastern leads Northern, top of the first 3 0. 0 oh 1 the count here on AJ, I'm sorry, on uh, Colin Casper Bauer. Throw to first, Roush was leaning, just a, I'm aware of you throw over by Steinbaum. Indians just tied the game at three, bottom of the eighth inning against the Blue Jays. Right on left here, runner goes, the pitch up and away, throw down to second, no chance. Sliding in with the stolen base is A.J. Roush. Shortstop Benson came across the bag. That was to the first base side of second. And so Ohio trying to inject some life into this deal. Stolen base. A.J. Roush. Stolen sack number 26 on the year. Roush is now four for five. Base hit gives Ohio the lead. Casper Bauer certainly can do it. 1-1 one, one pitch. Popped up foul. Third base side out of play. Two gone in the third. Mason Minzy is on deck. Crowd thinned out a little after game one. Friends and family at the ballpark right now. Steinbaugh with the long pause. Looks at Roush at second, brings it home. Colin swings and pops it up. Foul ground near the Bobcat dugout over Reinhardt, and he makes the catch right by the railing. Inning done. Ohio's tried to inject some life into this deal, having the runners in motion a couple of times, but we're through with three. Scoreless game presented by Union Street Diner. 
Ohio and Akron scoreless. This is Bobcat Baseball. Let O'Neill Hartman Insurance show you how Grange's strong value and fast claim service delivers league-leading coverage. O'Neill Hartman Insurance will find you a Grange auto policy that balances competitive rates and responsive Grange claim service. O'Neill Hartman Insurance considers Grange their go-to company for their combination of great value and outstanding claim service. Call O'Neill Hartman at 740-797-4685 or visit them online at O'NeillHartman.com. Hi, this is Jared Dean with Dean Heating and Cooling. As your local Tempstar dealer, you can experience superior home comfort with Tempstar game-changing technology. Whether you need a fall tune-up or a midwinter repair call, our expert technicians will make sure your heating system is running at peak performance. Arrivo Schellenbarger. Sprocket scheduled here for the Zips against Hudson Bonkel as we move to the fourth, presented by Gomart. Marty the Gomart Gopher. Go for good times, go for Gomart. Bonkel brings it home, and the first one drops in with the change up. It's 0 and 1. Arrivo, one of three zip hits. Here it is from Bonkel. Shot foul, first base side out of play. Akron dropped baseball after the 2015 season. They went 28 and 30 that year and 13 and 15 in the MAC. And this is their first trip to Athens since they brought baseball back. Scoreless game now in the fourth. Next one from Bonkel misses upstairs. One and two the count on Arrivo, their right handed hitting left fielder. Bonkel brings it home, low and away, two and two. And Ohio swept Akron in Athens that year. It was a three-game series. <coughs> Akron just didn't want to say die in the back tournament. Next one upstairs. Three and two the count. They won two games in the back tournament that year. They beat Ball State 9-8 to avoid elimination, their second to last game. Line drive to second caught by Hindigas, one gone. Hard hit out for Revo. Here's Brian Schellenbarger, their best hitter and right fielder. He stranded two in his first plate appearance. They had an eight-run bottom of the ninth inning to win that game over Ball State that year in the MAC tournament. This is bounced foul, first base side. Eight-run bottom of the ninth to win it, 9-8 over Ball State. Then they were eliminated by the Cardinals. 9-8 the game after. Strike from Bunkle, two strikes and nothing here on Schellenbarger. Ohio then beat Ball State and went to the back tournament. 0-2, just fouled off, I think, or bounced in. Oh, and 2 the count. But that was it for the Zips. Drop baseball after the 15 season. Upstairs, check swing, did he go? No. That was up, and he really had to have some strength to hold back that swing, Schellenbarger. One and two the count. So the 16, 17, 18, and 19 seasons, they didn't have baseball, brought it back for fall of 19. One, two, fouled off. Third base side out of play by Schellenbarger. One gone, top of four. Scoreless game, Ohio and Akron. Then the, the 2020 season was the COVID season. They went 1-12 and 12 before the whole world seemed to end and sports stopped. Their one win was over Marshall. 2-2 two and two the count here on Schellenbarger. Bonkel brings it. 
popped up foul back at home out of play. They went 15 and 36 last year and 8 and 32 in the MAC. So it's going to take some time for sure. And Chris Sabo is their head coach. Corey Mee, former Toledo head coach, is an assistant. Next one misses outside. Three and two the count. Bonkel to Schellenbarger as we start off the fourth in a scoreless game. Fastball low, ball four, leadoff walk. First walk for Hudson Bunkel. Here's Michael Sprocket, their catcher. They've tried to improve their facilities. It's a field turf surface there now. It was not a good surface when they had it the first time. Fly ball hit well to right center field. Peterson drifts over and makes the catch. So Sprocket shoots the gap in right, but Peterson's there to make the play. Here's Kaito Hara. Runner at first, one gone, top of four, scoreless game. Hara, their second baseman, struck out in his first plate appearance. The press box there used to be on the first base side, shared it with soccer. The field was just not in good shape. Runner breaks, throw down to second on a strike, and they got him. Inning over, I think I said there was one out. There's, there was two gone there, and the runner broke from first and caught stealing on the play. Was Schellenbarger, and the inning's over. So we're through with three and a half. Scoreless game, Ohio and Akron. This is Bobcat Baseball. Plan your next visit to stand up and cheer for your Ohio Bobcats in Athens County, Ohio. Visit AthensOhio.com, the best resource for where to eat, where to stay, where to shop, and where to play. Athens County is home to countless trails and outdoor activities. Enjoy mountain biking, kayaking, rock climbing, and hiking. Find your own adventure. Cruise the Hawk Hawking Adena Bikeway. Mountain bike the Bailey's Trail System. Hike trails less traveled at Stroud's Run State Park. Or ride nine thrilling motorcycle routes on Ohio's winding. Can't wait to see you in Athens County, Ohio. New pitcher into the ballgame for Akron as we start off the bottom of the fourth, presented by Gomart. The scoreless game is Jacob Beal with two L's, B E A double L. Freshman from Westchester, went to Lakota West High School in the Cincinnati area. Right hander, 6'3, 180, Jacob Beal. In for the zips now. Beal making his 12th appearance, 1-2 and two, with a 9.55 ERA. He started two games, 21 and two-thirds innings of work, 32 hits, 23 runs. All earned, 13 walks, 18 strikeouts. Opposition hitting 368 against 22 Jacob Beal. Mason Minzie leads it off for Ohio here. Minzie, Harbert, and Finney. Scoreless game, bottom of the fourth. Nine-inning contest, Ohio trying to sweep the doubleheader and take the first three games of this series. And based on the stats, they're going to have a chance against Beal. 
Both teams trying to get something going, injecting some life into things with runners on the base pass moving, but nothing's happened yet. Minzy, left-handed batter, and Beal fires a fastball low and in. It's 1-0. So talking about the zips and bringing baseball back, after the 2015 season, fall ball 2019, COVID shortened 2020. Last year, they took the series against Ohio at the end of the year. 2-0 the count here to Mason Minzy. Buffalo, they had baseball and dropped it after the 2017 season. 2-0, there's a strike. It's 2-1. I don't know if Buffalo is ever going to bring baseball back again. Minzy struck out in his first plate appearance. 2-1 pitch. Fastball just missed inside. 3-1. Good eye from Mason Minzy. The DH here in the finale of the doubleheader. Buffalo basically played at a akin to a city park. 3-1. Swing and a miss. 3-2. We never broadcasted at Buffalo because you couldn't. You could now. I mean... Internet and that, wireless internet and whatever, but you would have been on a card table beyond the chain link fence in center field. 3-2 pitch. Misses inside, ball four. Lead off walk, Mason Minzy. Here's Spencer Harbert. Third walk for Zip pitching today. Steinball went three innings, 56 pitches, two hits, two walks, and a strikeout. Harbert walked his first trip to the plate. Lead off walks. And the pitch. That's low. 1-0. Northern schools, it's, as we know, just, it's so hard in the sport of college baseball. 1-0 pitch. Sweeps low and outside, 2-0. and And there's really nothing you can do about it because college summer leagues now, the draft, all of that, we've talked about that for years and years. And especially with belt tightening from a, a financial standpoint, it's hard. Here it is upstairs to Harbert. 3-0 and the count. Bottom of the fourth inning, scoreless game, Ohio and Akron. Beal with two L's is in a bit of a pickle here. 3-0 pitch. Inside, ball four, and he wanted to know where that was, but it was inside. Time call, pitching coach out. And the Zips are, are begging for the Bobcats to scratch out the first run. Back-to-back -back free passes to start off the home half of the fourth. You would figure their bullpen will get going, but to be very fair, there aren't a whole lot of reliable arms they could turn to based on the stats. Will Ohio take advantage of their invitation? Alex Finney's the banner now. Minzy at second, Harbert at first. Finney 0 for 1 today. Mound meeting broken up eventually. Eventually. This is a lengthy talk here. And finally broken up. All right, on to our next activity, which will be Beald Alex Finney. I'd have to look this up, but when Buffalo dropped baseball in 2017, I believe, and I can't remember the player's name, but they had a they had a player on that team who was a home run hitter that went to the the home run competition the week after the College World Series in Omaha. Finney squared a bunt, pulled one back, takes one high. It's one and zero. In at the corners, the infielders here. That's Reinhardt at third, Barr at first. First and second, the runners. 
Nobody gone, bottom of the fourth. Finney a good spot here, squared to bunt, pulled it back, took a strike out of the mid of Sprocket. It's one and one. So the last activity that a Buffalo baseball player had was in the home run derby at TD Ameritrade in 2017. Akron didn't have that after they dropped. Bunt put down, good bunt towards third. Reinhardt gloves, scoops, throws, got him at first. Sacrifice complete. Five three. Second and third, the runners now. Minzy at third, Harbert at second. Here's Kale Baker. Had a couple of RBIs in his efforts in game one of the doubleheader. Baker at 21 runs batted in now. Infield in and the pitch. Bouncing ball to the Bobcat dugout and top of the dugout. Ricochets off a set of hands. 0 and 1. Now, the week after the College World Series in Omaha, when that concludes, they've got um, the home run derby there. Some juiced up bats and balls. 0 1 drops low and away from Beal. 1 and 1. It would appear that the defending national champions aren't going to be in the NCAA tournament to defend their title. 1-1, one, one, fly ball, right field, deep. Shellen Barger back in front of the track, makes the catch. Tagging from third, coming in to score is Mason Minzy. It's 1-0 Ohio on a sack fly by Cale Baker. To third on the play goes Spencer Harbert. Here's Nick Dolan. Two gone in the frame. Ohio on top, one nothing here. Dolan, the eight man in the lineup, hits here with the runner at third. And the pitch. Fastball got away from the catcher, Sprocket, but no advancement from third to home. That went all the way to the on-deck circle. And normally you would see the runner break there, and that's Harbert at third. He must not have read it very well. It just kind of trickled out of the mitt. Want to know the count. That team that won last year, Mississippi State, and they are way outside the bubble now. Next one up and in, a hit. Dolan didn't mean to do it. Runners on the corners here. So here's Xavier Hendegas. Singled in his first plate appearance. Hits here now. Runners on the corners. 1-0 Ohio, bottom of the fourth. Get runners on. Get them over. Get them in. How about a base hit to open it up to a multi-run lead? Right on right in the pitch. Fastball strike from Beal. 0-1. Yeah, it's the time of the year where you're starting to take a look at resumes, RPI, and all that. The MAC will be a one-bid league, even though there are two really good ones at the top of the league, on this level anyway. Runner breaks from first, throw down to second. It is through into center field, actually just knocked down by the shortstop, Benson. Stolen base, delayed steal home, 2-0 Ohio. So Harbert scores from third. Ohio put a man in motion. Dolan. One and one the count with two gone. Two nothing Cats. Bunts and sack flies and motion on the base paths. Two and one the count. The next one's upstairs from Beal. 2 nothing Ohio. So in essence, really a, a delayed double steal. Harbert scores on an air by the catcher on the throw. It was to the 
third base side a second, so the shortstop side a second. Actually, Benson did good work to make sure that didn't get all the way into center field. Swing and a miss. Three and two the count now with two gone. So it doesn't take wall-banging extra base hits to score runs. Ohio getting it on a sack fly and men in motion. Payoff pitch, shot foul down the line and right. Three and two the count, two gone. Two nothing Bobcats here in the fourth. Nine inning ball game. Ohio has never trailed in this series. Runner at second, payoff pitch. Upstairs, ball four. And I'm sure the Zips have had innings like this quite often this year. As their record would indicate, Back topside to Isaiah Peterson. Pete 0 for 2 here in the second game of the doubleheader. And the pitch misses low and inside from Beal. Dolan at second, Hinnegas at first. All of this has happened without a hit. Fly ball, right field deep, going back Schellenbarger at the warning track wall and gone. A three-run Bobcat blast. Ohio leads it 5-0. A five-run fourth inning. Isaiah Peterson pumps one out of here. We said all of it happened without a hit. Well, that's the biggest of hits that you can have. A round tripper gives Ohio a five-spot lead. Peterson with his fifth homer of the year. 41 home runs for the ball club. That to the gap in right center field, you could tell it was hit pretty well. And it was as Schellenbarger raced back to the right of the 380 marker over the green wall. Ohio on top, 5-0 on a three-run bomb by Isaiah Peterson. Here's A.J. Roush. Two out hitting again. This is tap foul at the plate. 0-2 oh the count. Last weekend, they were a two-run scoring machine. Rather, two outs run scoring machine. This one low and away. 1-2 and two the count. Five nothing Ohio. In the pitch, called strike three. Fastball on the outside edge. Roush goes out on strikes. Inning started with a walk, then another walk, then a ground out. Fly out brought in a run, then a hit batter. Man in motion, air on a stolen base, then a walk, then a homer, and Ohio scores five. We head to the fifth. High five for the Cats, nothing for the Zips. This is Bobcat Baseball. Get your ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light Seltzer hip. Even though you can't go to the game, doesn't mean the game can't be brought to you now hip. Just go to BudLight.com slash delivery. That's BudLight.com slash delivery. Give me two bagos. Coming at you. It's a little short. Ow. Sorry. You know what? I'm just going to walk them over to you. Whenever there's a game to watch, there's a Bud Light there. Enjoy responsibly. In Heiser Bush, Bud Light Beer and Bud Light Seltzer, IRC Beer, Beer in Texas, St. Louis, Missouri. Let's go, Cats. Let's go, Labatt Blue Light. When you drink a pristine Canadian Pilsner, you're good at beer. Bobcats fans, grab a Labatt Blue Light and be good at beer. Always enjoy responsibly. Copyright 2021 Labatt USA, Buffalo, New York. All rights reserved. Labatt, registered U.S. trademark of Labatt Brewing Company, LTD.
complexion of this game has changed. Ohio took a while to be able to scratch out the first run, but did without the benefit of a hit. Then a big fly for Isaiah Peterson, Ohio on top 5 nothing, And some attention here for Hudson Bunkle on the mound prior to the start of the zip fifth. Bunkle's thrown 61 pitches after the warm-up tosses. Training staff Tim Brown, Ohio's pitching coach, and head coach Craig Moore are out at the mound now. And uh, I don't know really what's going on. Maybe a cut or a blister or something like that. As they're at the base of the mound taking a look at Ohio's Starter Hudson Bunkle, who would stand to be the winner if he could get through the fifth. Kaito Hara to lead it off, then Reinhardt, then Barr, latter stages of the Akron lineup. 5 nothing Ohio here on the five-run fourth inning. Well, whatever it was, they have figured it out, and they're going to allow Hudson to throw a couple of practice tosses here to make sure he's all right. Trying to get a feel for the baseball. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he's looking at his, his fingers. He's looking at his hand, which generally would lead you to believe that there's a blister or something going on with the nail. It's all a real delicate thing for manicuring a pitcher. And uh, they're going to take a look at the right hand of Hudson Bonkel. I, I don't know if there's a a blister or something going on there or not. Just one of those things where you get the feel for the baseball and have to get a grip and, you know, the skin around there. <laughs> Whole lot of Bobcat love in the ballpark today. For sure. Ohio on top 5 nothing here as we are in the Top of the fifth. And Hudson Bonkel trying to shake out that right hand and arm as he goes to the mound again for another practice toss. And he's taking a look at his uh, fingers and his hand as he's releasing the ball on practice toss number one. Now another. And eventually there's going to have to be a decision here on if he can continue or not. Might be a blister. Hmm. Well, it'd be a, it'd be a shame if, if he can't go, but... If you've ever, and I'm, I don't know if this is what it is. It just seems like it is. If you've ever kind of popped a blister before, I mean, it it stings. It it's um, it's obviously a something that would make it tough to grip a baseball. And pitchers deal with that all the time. Got to have their not uh, nails kind of the right way, and if you feel and grip and, and put pressure on a baseball and can allow for those things to happen. So through the delay, we've gone from salt and pepper to salt and pepper to Machine Gun Kelly. And we're going to try to figure out if Hudson Bonkel can stay in and keep it going. There is no activity in Ohio's pen, I guess, Technically, through this, they could have had somebody up. But if it is a medical issue, 
and he's he's trying to kind of wiggle some feel it maybe some feeling back into their into the fingers there. You got to be able to feel the baseball to grip the baseball. I'm not a doctor, but that seems to be what Ryan O'Connor would tell me, right? Yeah, you got to be able to feel it. You would still think it's a blister that might have popped that they put something on. Now he's trying to shake out some feeling there. To the umpire's credit, they're allowing this to go. I mean, a Eventually, there's going to have to be a decision here on if Hudson Bonkel could stay in the game. We're almost through two full songs um, here, and we'll see. Hopefully, he's all right because he is three outs away from qualifying for a win in a 5 nothing Ohio lead. Now we're going to get some activity in the Bobcat bullpen. Mm, this would just be um, this would be too bad for the – Younger of the California Cats. But again, these guys aren't robots out there. These are human beings, and things can happen sometimes. And the Zips are uh, down 5 nothing, and they've got a delay before the top of their fifth inning. Just after 5 o'clock, game uh, three of this series, game two of the doubleheader. And uh, whatever the delay is with the right pitching hand of Hudson Bonkle, we have not reached a resolution as of yet. I mean, you hope he's okay, for one, more, than, more so than just the ball game. But that... Right hand, there's there's nothing you can really do about it. Hmm. This is one of the longer delays for something like this. I, I've seen pitchers leave because of blisters or cuts on their hands before. Um, but they are uh, taking a long time here. Max scores, how about that? Uh, bottom of the ninth inning in Champaign, the one non-conference series is Illinois 6, My, uh, Miami of Ohio 2. Top of the fifth, Bowling Green 5, Toledo nothing. Rockets won game one of that doubleheader, 1-0. Bottom of the second inning at Kent State, Ball State 2, flashes 1 and BSU is flirting with taking the first three games of the series. Bonkel's now throwing a couple more practice tosses here, and we'll see if he's good to go. Two fired in there pretty well. And here's the third. And they're going to take a look at the hand now. The umpires have to take a look to make sure that whatever it is on a blister or a cut on the, on the fingers is okay. And he's going to stay in the game. So Bonkel is happy, and he knows it. He can't clap to show it, but he's able to pitch here in the top of the fifth. All right. We've been waiting for this one, and here we are. Bonkle for Hara to start off the fifth inning. Presented by Steak and Shake, and the first one misses. It's 1-0. Steak and Shake's famous for steak burgers and would be really good for a dinner on a Sunday night. 1-0 pitch. Slap through the left side hole, base hit. Single for Hara to start off the Akron fifth. Yeah, that Illinois win has gone final over Miami now, 6-2. Eastern Michigan leads Northern Illinois, game two of that doubleheader, 3-1 into Calv, top of the third inning.
and the pitch from Bonkel is bunted foul at the plate. 0-1 oh, the count on Reinhardt. 5 nothing Ohio after a five spot in the bottom of the fourth. Big blast in the inning, Isaiah Peterson's three-run shot. Right on right here with nobody gone, top of the fifth, throw over to first, Hara back in time. If you're thinking about him on the base pass, he is one for two. Bouncing ball to short, on to second one, on to first, dug out by Kale Baker. Ring him up, double play. Six, four, three. Dolan to Hindigas to Baker. So Bonko one out away from qualifying for the win. Here's Barr, their first baseman, 0 for 1 today. Right-handed batter, right on right in the pitch. Swing and a miss. Just zinged it right past him, 0-1. Brilliant sunshine, just some wispy cirrus. I mean, as thin as thin cirrus clouds can get overhead. There's a strike. It's 0-2. Bonkel struck out three, walked one. Akron has four hits to this point. 5 nothing Ohio. Top of the fifth. And the pitch. Swing and a bouncing ball to short. To his left, Dolan. Sucks it up, throws high to first. Clanged off the glove of Baker. He tried to snap down with the tag, but he didn't have the ball. So an air on the throw by Dolan. Continues the inning. Bar on at first. Back topside to Pennington. There have been two zip bears and now one on Ohio. Bonkel from the stretch misses upstairs. Left-handed hitting Pennington is one for two. Stole a base already. Five nothing Ohio, top of the fifth. Bonkel brings it home outside. Two and zero. Oh. Dinner time for the birds apparently. Chirping away. Lazy Sunday in Southeast Ohio. And the pitch from Bonkel. Tap foul at the plate. Two and one. Harbert, Peterson, Roush in the outfield left to right. Casper Bauer, Dolan, Hindigas, Baker infield left to right. Finney and Bonkel the battery. Runner at first, two gone. And the pitch. Popped up foul. Out of play. Two and two the count. Bonkle from the stretch. It's been a long trip to the mound in the fifth. Here it is. Up and away. Three and two on the foul through. He tried to use a little body English to jump after he planted to coax a call, or at least the ball back into the zone. Couldn't. Three and two the count, two gone. Barr should be off from first. He's not held on by Baker. There he goes. Turned on foul. Oh my. Off the padding on the railing at the zip dugout. And the kangaroos had to hop away real quick. Wow. That was smacked over there. Thank goodness it was off the pad. Because if that were a couple of inches up, that would have drilled somebody over there. One more time at full with two gone. Runner will be off. There he is. This is popped up shallow <laughs> to third. Caught by Casper Bauer. Getting done. Hudson Bunkle with an interesting trip to the mound in the fifth. 5-0 Ohio. We go to the bottom half. Presented by Steak and Shake. This is Bobcat Baseball.
Located on 741 East State Street, Steak and Shake is serving up handmade milkshakes, fresh pressed steak burgers, and crispy shoestring fries cooked right to order. Kick off your day with our breakfast served until 11 a.m. And don't forget to join us for happy hour drinks and shakes on weekdays from 2 p.m. till 5 p.m. Left corner for three. Bang! And oh, baby, what a first half it's been. In sight, it must be right. We'll see you there at Steak and Shake Athens. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Ohio University Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. New pitcher into the ball game for the Zips as we go to the home half of the fifth and Ohio on top five nothing. Yasser Kahook. Yasser Kahook from Cuyahoga Falls, Walsh Jesuit. 5'11, 195 into the ball game now for the Zips. 5 0 Ohio. Kahook making his eighth appearance, 13 and a third innings of work, 29 hits. 17 runs, 17 earned, four walks, 13 strikeouts. 426 is his batting average against. Doesn't have a record, an 11 4 ERA. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys with a 10 or above ERA. And that would dovetail off of their 13 and 33 and 11 and 23 record. Colin Casper Bauer leads it off. He's 0 for 2 today. 5 0 Ohio. We're in the home half of the fifth. Kahook misses upstairs. 2 0 the count. 5 3 and 1 for Ohio. The big blast, the three run homer for Isaiah Peterson. 0 4 and 2 for the Zips. Next one popped foul, third base side out of play. Two and one, the count and the pitch. Upstairs, three and one. Third pitcher used today for Akron. It's not easy restarting a program for sure on any level. Smack to right, base hit. Casper Bauer was all over that. One for three in the ball game. Here's Mason Minzie. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day to my mom. Probably listening in far northwest suburban Chicago. And uh, she is, and you say this a lot about moms, but gosh, she's a special one for sure. Change up, call to strike. Actually, looked like Minzy might have offered. It's 0-1. She is the most hopeful person I have ever met. I mean, truly, anything's possible. 0-1 low, it's 1-1. One one. She get, gets great pleasure out of uh, life's little pleasures. 1-1 one one the count. Runner at first, and the pitch just missed outside. Two and one. But she's remarkable. Work ethic, gosh. If she's under the weather, doesn't matter how bad it is, she's fine. She's fine. Two on pitch, big swing and a miss. It's two and two. She literally just wants everyone to, to have a good time putting so many others above 
herself when it comes to, to that kind of stuff. This is a heart of gold. Next one bounces in. Three and two the count. Just uh, really a great person. Blue collar work ethic, too. 3 2, shot to left, over and caught by Arrivo. Went about five steps to his right, had a high one handed squeeze. One gone, runner at first, bottom of the fifth, 5 0 Ohio with the lead. Spencer Harbert's the batter now. But um, she's got the stick to itiveness to take on any project. And uh, see it to completion. Bouncing ball wide to third foul. I mean, like that kind of put together furniture you might get at Ikea. She can, she can put all that stuff together, no problem. Talk about, as a chef, wow. Anything she makes, just incredible. The woman has made more mashed potatoes that I think than anybody in the world should but every time they are chef's kiss next one misses inside on Harbert but uh, yeah anything she makes incredible she could have a lengthy day at work come home and all that mm. hungry there's a strike two and two the count one gone, bottom of the fifth, runner at first. And all the games that she's gone to over the course of her life, oof. And she enjoys it, knows about sports too. High chopper, weakly hit towards short. Benson has to wait for it, flags it, throws to first late. First and second of the runners. Casper Bauer up to second. Harbert at first. One gone, Ohio has two aboard. As we're in the last of the fifth, and Ohio on top five, nothing. Here's Alex Finney. But all the time of traveling to games, going to games. Well, my parents are season ticket holders at Northern Illinois and Northwestern, and she's right there for all of them. All the games that I went to growing up, she was right there. Line shot back through the middle, base hit. Hitting third is Casper Bauer. He will score without a play, six nothing Ohio on a rip of a single to center for Alex Finney. Doesn't play every day, but when he's in there, he produces. Here's Cale Baker. We're in the bottom of the fifth, Ohio on top 6-0. The Bobcats are four runs away from run ruling the Zips. Got to get through seven for sure, but the opportunity is there. Cale Baker, the batter. And the pitch drops low and away. Want to know the count. But, yeah, I'll, I'll brag on my mom for sure. She is something else, and she listens to all these games. She's still incredibly hopeful for my career, as a lot of moms would be. This has popped up into right shallow. Schellenbarger in over towards the line, makes the one-handed catch. Two gone. Back to the bases, the runners. Harbert at second, Finney at first. Six nothing, Ohio leads. But uh, hopefully she had a good day. Hopefully all you mothers out there had a good day. Day's not over yet. And uh, what a gift to moms! A double header of Mac baseball. There is the strike. Oh, and won the count. On, K on uh, Nick Dolan. And the pitch. Popped up, foul down the line and right, back to the infield, first baseman bar over, and made the catch. What a play. Inning done. Ohio gets a run. We head to the sixth. Six nothing Ohio. This is Bobcat Baseball.
Jumpstart your day at the Fairfield Inn and Suites in Athens. Enjoy complimentary hot breakfast, then unwind on our beautiful outdoor patio, which includes a gas fire pit and barbecue grill. Conveniently located on East State Street, just a short drive from the Ohio University campus and Uptown Athens, the Fairfield Inn and Suites is situated near many shopping and dining venues. At the Fairfield Inn and Suites, you're our number one priority. Call 740-589-5839 to book your next visit to Athens or find us online at fairfieldinn.com. If you can dream it, you can do it. Maybe your dream is to have a vacation cabin in the woods. Or maybe your dream is to open up a cat cafe. Uh, who ordered the milk? At Ohio University Credit Union, your dreams are our dreams, and we have the money to lend that will make them a reality. OUCU offers great loan rates, flexible terms, and fast responses on your application. Not a member? You can join. Really, stop by a branch or visit OUCU.org. Equal housing opportunity, loan subject to credit approval, federally insured by NCUA, MLS number 433809. Sixth inning is on from the Wren. Six nothing Ohio with the lead on the Akron Zips. Mm. Somebody revving that engine to let them know who they are. That'll let them know. All right, we go to the sixth. Tate Wargo, the batter, Hudson Bunkle out there. Pitch 76, plate word, there's a strike. It is 0-1. Wargo, two-hole hitter, 0 for 2 today. They're DH. 6-0 Ohio. En route to a series win. Fastball strike. 0-2. And the pitch, just missed outside, one and two the count. Next one fouled back to the screen. Just uh, reading some news coming out of Ypsilanti, Michigan, of uh, the passing of a uh, former Bobcat assistant coach. Base hit to right field for Tate Wargo. Lead off single here in the top of the sixth. That is uh, Akron's fifth hit of the day. Benson bats now, their shortstop. Man on at first, nobody gone. Just a uh, reading that uh, Former Bobcat assistant Fred Reed passed away at the age of 54. Mm. At Eastern, he was their defensive pass game coordinator and safeties coach. Seventh season there. Spent 27 years in the coaching ranks, including two stints here at Ohio. 54 years old. Mm. That is That is sad. So uh, condolences to the Reed family, to the Eastern family, and also here to Bobcat fans that uh, knew Fred Reed. Just seeing that news break today. Hmm. Just way too young. Runner at first, nobody gone, top of the sixth. There's a strike. On Benson. He was on staff when Ohio went to the Idaho Potato Bowl um, in 2011. Stolen base, Wargo hits second as he steals second. Three and two the count now on Benson. So again, that's news I just saw. Former Bobcat assistant Fred Reed passed away at the age of 54. If you wish to read the story, you can go to uh, emueagles.com or their Twitter. And I'm sure Ohio Athletics will have something as well. Line drive to left. Caught for out number one of the inning. Harbert catches that. 
Here's Nick Revo. Their cleanup hitter and left fielder. One for two today. Just reading the release here and, and remembering it. Had two stints here. And uh, time at Syracuse. Time at Buffalo as well. He was on staff here uh, for the wins in the Potato Bowl and Independence Bowl. Fred Reed. Mm. 54 years old. That's a shame. Line shot. Positioned perfectly back of the bag at second. Hindegas knocks it down. It trickled into center. So runners on the corners now with one away as Hudson Bunkle trying to get through the sixth inning. One gone for Brian Schellenbarger. 6-0 Ohio. So again, condolences uh, to the Reed family, to the Eastern family, and to those of you Bobcat fans uh, that uh, knew Fred Reed. Runners on the corners here. One gone. Bunkle to a Revo. Fly ball foul, third base side, out of play. One gone in the sixth. Bonkel with a whip throw back to first, but diving back in time is a Revo. On at third is Wargo. A Revo at first. Bouncing ball headed towards second. Flag there by Dolan. Taps the sack for the out. Throw to first in time. Double play. Six. Three, another twin killing, and the zips are done in the sixth. We head to the bottom half, Ohio six, Akron nothing. This is Bobcat Baseball. The past year and a half, we've all been part of unprecedented times that have been heavy. At Integrated Services for Behavioral Health, we have been here for you throughout the heaviness of the pandemic and will continue to be here for you whenever you need us. Checking in on your behavioral health and well-being is more important than ever. If you feel like you can benefit from home or community-based support, counseling, peer recovery support, and a myriad of other services we offer, please call us at 800-321-8293. We're here for you. At Kroger, we believe it takes the right team to bring you the freshest produce. That's why we partner with farmers who grow only the best, because that level of teamwork means better, fresher options time and time again. From fresh berries to fresh tomatoes, we know the farm is where it all grows. From their farms to your forks, working with farmers is what it takes to be fresh for everyone. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Ohio softball won in their regular season finale earlier today, 6-5 over Western Michigan. And their opponent is set for the upcoming MAC tournament. Thursday at 1 in Oxford, Ohio will be the 2, taking on third-seeded Central Michigan. Ohio, the 2 seed, taking on CMU Thursday at 1. In Oxford, Jake Ramada will have an audio broadcast of that on OhioBobcats.com. Bottom of the six is on. Six nothing Ohio with the lead. Kahook out there still. Out of the pen and squaring the button. Pulling it back was Hindegas, but he was hit by the pitch. So leadoff man on here in the sixth. Here's Isaiah Peterson. Six, six and one for Ohio, zero, six and two for Akron. First one misses, it's one and oh.
and the pitch. Popped him up. This carries a bit. Left center field. Left fielder Arivo there for the catch. Out number one. Here's A.J. Roush. So that will be game one of the tournament on Thursday at one. Two seed Ohio, three seed Central. Following that game, top seed of Miami, four seeded Bowling Green. It is a double elimination tournament, the Max Softball Tournament. Rouse takes a strike from Kahook. It is 0-1. Two more MAC weekends in baseball before the league tournament either in Muncie or Mount Pleasant. Right on right, the pitch upstairs. One and one is the count. Ohio, if this score holds, will have a chance to sweep the zips tomorrow. One o'clock, first pitch. Here it is from Kahook. Line drive center field coming on Pennington there. Makes the catch. Two gone. Colin Kasperbauer, one for three today. Five runs in the fourth, one in the fifth. Sixth inning of Bobcat Baseball, supported by Integrated Services for Behavioral Health. Healthy people, strong communities. That's Integrated Services. Kasperbauer, left-handed batter, Kahook. The righty out of the pen. Time called. Hits level at six aside. There have been three combined errors here. Here it is from Kahook. Fly ball, right center field, hit pretty deep. Way back, warning track, and off the wall. With two outs, flying on the pitch is Hindigas. He scores without a play, coasting into third with a stand-up triple. Is Colin Kasperbauer at 7-0 Ohio. Here's Mason Minzy. That was to the right of the attack cat and arched Ohio in right center field. That was hit really well. And Shellen Barger and Pennington raced over there. And Casper uh, Bauer there with out of play at third. Here's Minzy. 0 for 2 with the run scored. Walked today, takes a strike. It's 0 and 1. This zip bullpen will give you a chance to score some runs. Minzy, fly ball, left center field. It is going to hang up for a leaping catch for a Revo. Right at the warning track to the right of the 380 marker. That had a little extra zip out there and a skip for a Revo. And if he doesn't make that play, that would have been a Minzy extra base hit and an 8 0 lead. As it stands, 7 0 as we head off to the seventh. This is Bombcat Baseball. You got your go-tos, your standbys, even your favorites. But the beefy, cheesy burgers at McDonald's take you back to where it all began. Your bite zero when you first tasted what a burger should be like. Two perfectly seasoned beef patties stacked with a single slice of melty cheese on a golden bun. Now at McDonald's, get two McDouble burgers for $3. Whatever it is to you, classics are classics for a reason. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. Voice of the Bobcats, Russ Eisenstein, on behalf of David White Services, the largest heating and cooling dealer in Southeast Ohio. They've been the choice of thousands for over 45 years. Offering the most efficient Lennox heat pumps, air conditioners, and furnaces, David White Services can save you money on your heating and cooling bills. Thanks, Russ. I'm David White. And I'm Esther White-Thomas, inviting you to call us today to schedule a free estimate for heating and cooling or a new gas fireplace. David White Services is a proud sponsor of Ohio Bobcat Athletics.
Seventh inning is on from Athens, Ohio on top, 6-0. Seventh presented by Qdoba. Qdoba stands for flavor. East State Street in Athens, online at Qdoba.com. New pitcher into the ball game for Ohio is Chase Harris. Harris wears number six. Harris to this point this year is 3-0. and oh. This is his 12th trip to the mound, 7-9-9 ERA. 23 and two-thirds innings of work for the Alexander High product. 26 strikeouts, five walks. Chase Harris in there now. Comfortable for sure. Seven nothing cats as we're in the seventh. And Sprocket will lead it off. Their catcher. And the first one is cut through and missed. 0 and 1 the count. 7 7 and 1 for Ohio. 0 6 and 2 for the Zips. Zip 6 and 2 to the Zips. Right on left in the pitch. Swing and a miss. Late on that. Sprocket. So the book on Bonkel, 90 pitches, six hits, one walk, three strikeouts, six innings. Stands to be the winner. Good outing for the freshman from California. 0-2, missed outside. One and two. Five in the fourth, one in the fifth, one in the sixth for Ohio. Nothing yet for the Zips. They have left five. One-two pitch from Chase Harris. Swing and a miss, strike three. Four strikeouts today for Bobcat pitching. For Harris, that is strikeout number 27. How about that strikeout to walk ratio? 27 to five. That hit total's too high though, 32 and 24 innings of work. Opponent batting average at 317, but you have a comfortable situation now to work on it. Kaito O'Hara takes one just outside, right-handed batter. Want to know the count. Hara today, one for two. Picks up and rocks his front foot. Ooh, this was up and in on him. One and one the count. Zip still hanging out at the top step of their dugout, leaning over the railing. Bouncing ball foul to the Bobcat dugout. Two and one the count. Got to be tough for them for sure. End of uh, a long season where they haven't had a whole lot of wins. Two on pitch. Low. Snuck through the wickets of Finney to the backstop. And they stay one more night here in Athens before heading back home. One more game tomorrow of the series. Here it is from Chase Harris. Bouncing ball wide a third foul. They are at Miami next weekend. And uh, that concludes their max season. They got a home game against Georgia Tech on the 16th of May at Canal Park, the home of the uh, Rubber Ducks. This is fouled off. Good at bat here for Hara against Chase Harris, three and two the count. Nobody gone, top of the seventh, seven nothing Ohio. Georgia Tech there at Canal Park. Non-con single game against the Ramblin' Wreck. Payoff pitch. Turned down, down the line and left. Foul by literally a foot. They then play Purdue-Fort Wayne, the Mastodons, uh, Friday the 20th, then a doubleheader the 21st, and their season will be done. Three and two the count. And the pitch. Another bouncer found to the Bobcat dugout. Looking to see if there are any connections. 
first you think, well, does Chris Sable have connections to Georgia Tech? He is a Michigan product. His big league career, Reds, Orioles, Sox, Cardinals, Reds again. Bouncing ball to short. Easy for Dolan. Throws a first in time with a long stretch for Cale Baker. One gone here in the visitor half of the seventh with Ohio on top 7-0. So that's pretty cool, hosting an ACC ball club at the uh, Minor League Park, downtown Akron. That'll be nice for them for sure. One gone here. Reinhardt's the batter. 0 for 2 today. This is floated foul. First base side out of play. 0-1. Two gone to the inning in the pitch. There is a strike. Might have been low. 0 oh 2 the count. Harris trying to have a pristine seventh inning before the stretch. Got a strikeout to start it. Twirls the ball. Now ball meets leather from the stretch. The righty looks home and brings it. Swing and a miss. Strike three. 1 2 3 inning with two Ks for Chase Harris. Time to stretch in Athens. 7-0 Ohio leading Akron. This is Bobcat Baseball. Bobcat fans, the Hugh White Family of Dealerships is your hometown Athens dealer. And to show our commitment to the community, we're offering free car washes for Ohio University students and faculty, as well as college grad discounts with all of our new brands. But that's not all. We provide free concierge service for faculty. We'll pick up your vehicle and drop it back off after service. Take advantage of our leases at under $200 per month. Come visit us on North Columbus Road, less than five minutes from campus, or online at visithughwhite.com. And remember, if the deal is right, it must be Hugh White. Together is a wonderful place to be. That's why CareSource is devoted to keeping you and your family healthy and happy. We promise you not only reliable health care, but also a helping hand with whatever your family needs to succeed. It's why more moms in Ohio choose CareSource for Medicaid than all other plans combined. Things only get better when we work together. And together, there's nothing we can't do. We are one. Learn more at CareSource.com. Spencer Harbert leads an offer Ohio here in the last of the seventh. After the seventh inning stretch, and Ohio on top, 7-0. Kahook rifles the first one in for a strike. It's 0-1. Harbert today. A hit, one official plate appearance, one at bat. Two walks. This is smacked down the line and left base hit will roll near the corner. Picked up there by Arrivo, but arriving in at second with the stand-up double is Spencer Harbert. Hit number eight on the day for Ohio, and a leadoff two-bagger for Harbert. Here's Alex Finney. One for two today, brought in a run. 7-0 Ohio. If the Bobcats score three in this rack, this thing's done. Via the run rule, up 10 after seven. That is the rule of runs in the MAC. First one outside. Ran off the outside corner. It's 1-0. Finney with an open stance. Back of the box, right-hand side. Hasn't started every game, but when he's in there, he produces. Here it is from Kahook from the stretch. Strike, outside edge. 1-1 one one the count. And the pitch. Hit on the ground to second to his left. Hara sucks it up, throws to first in time, up to third. On the play is Spencer Harbert. Cale Baker's the batter. 0 for 2 with the run brought in. 
just looking at the Akron schedule, they didn't shy away. They played Georgia. They played Louisville, non-conference play. Wow. That's, uh, I mean, that's fun for sure, taking on opposition like that. 0-1 oh, the count. One gone, runner at third, bottom of the seventh, 7-0 seven Ohio. Here it is from Kahook. Low, 1-1. One one. Recently, they did have a loss to Baldwin Wallace, Division Three, nationally ranked Baldwin Wallace, lost 17-2. Now, Baldwin Wallace would beat a lot of Division I teams. Fly ball, left field deep. Arrivo back, he's under it, makes the catch. Tagging at third, scoring without a play. Spencer Harbert, Ohio on top, 8-0. Fly out by Kale Baker. That was in a run there where they gave up 16 runs to Central, 17 to Baldwin Wallace, 12 to Kent State, 17 to Kent State. Uh, but then they took the two games at the end of the series against KSU. Fly ball center field by Nick Dolan right at Pennington, and he makes the catch. Ohio adds on. 8 nothing Cats as we go to the eighth. This is Bobcat Baseball. Whether you're coming to Athens to root on the Bobcats, visiting friends and family, or just in town for business, the Hampton Inn in Athens wants to be your home away from home. With 86 sparkling rooms, complimentary high-speed internet, hot breakfast served each morning, and a spa and business center, you can expect a great night's stay with service that will bring you back. Visit us on the web at HamptonInn.com. That's HamptonInn.com. And go Bobcats! Okay, people, we all know what's at stake in this game. Zoe, what's at stake? Our futures. Our futures. And is anything going to keep us from achieving our goal? No way. Because what do we have? The plan. Ohio's 529 plan. Because in this family, how do we play the college savings game? Tax free. And where do we play it? Um, I don't know, Daddy. That's okay, Pumpkin. Want to win at college savings? Go to collegeadvantage.com slash bobcats. The Twitter machine's pretty amazing. I'm just watching a video right now of a, a little boy who is uh, standing up with his, uh, I guess, uh, a stepfather-to-be at a wedding. And this little boy can't be more than, I'd say, three years old, tops. Saw his mom dressed beautifully in her gown, and he was so excited, ran out to, to greet her and helped walk her down the aisle. And I'm favoriting that right now. I am the 7,963rd person to favorite that. So find that on Twitter. It is wholesome on a Mother's Day Sunday. Gosh, that's cool. There's a lot of good on the Twitter machine. There's a lot of not so good on the Twitter machine, but uh, there's a lot of good if you could find it. Anyway, find that video. Eighth innings on, Ohio on top, 8 nothing. And back out there, Chase Harris. Bouncing ball to short, bobbled by Dolan. On is Barr. Their first baseman. Here's Ian Pennington back to the top of the lineup. He's one for three today. Eight nothing zips. Trail Ohio. <laughs> this little boy up there. And his jaw just dropped. Just uh, amazed by the beauty. Fly ball down the line and right. Base hit by Pennington. Hitting second, going to third bar. Runners on the corners here for the Zips. To their credit, they're still scrapping down 8 nothing. Which, if they were to uh, sack the bats here, you could probably understand. But they're still playing. Runners on the corners here, nobody out. Tate Wargo, the batter now. He's one for three. 
Arrivo and Pennington with uh, multi-hit efforts in the second game of the doubleheader. Harris back of Bunkel. Ohio's had a couple of double plays. How about another? Here it is. There is a strike. It's 0-1. There is good out there if you can take the time to find it. Just little things like that. That'll put a smile on your face. Also, seeing dogs on Twitter. That's that's fun. 0-1. This is inside. 1-1. One one. I could look at, at videos of, of dogs doing dog things. You know, just running around or whatever on Twitter, you could you could do that all day and you'll feel great. And sometimes you find the other stuff and then not so great. Two and one to count. Eight, eight, and two for Ohio. That's great. Zero, seven, and two for Akron. Feels like it's getting warmer in the pitch. Loving outside from Chase Harris. Three and one to count. Yeah, it's it's warming up for sure, and it will be a really nice day tomorrow. If you are in the area, you don't want to work anyway on a Monday anyway. Line drive, sinking fast to left, drops in, base hit. There goes the shutout. Barr scores from third, single to left field for Wargo. It is 8-1 Ohio now here in the eighth. Here's Cameron Benson, one for three today. RBI single, Wargo. First and second, the runners. One o'clock, we start tomorrow. Yes. Airtime before that. That's when the pregame show happens. There's the pregame show that's before the game. Then there's a post-game show, which, surprisingly enough, is after the game. The game is between the two, and that starts at 1 tomorrow. Ohio, hopefully, will put the finishing touches on a sweep. Would be the first since uh, last year against Eastern. Here. Got to close this out first. Harris. Pumps in a strike. 0 and 1 the count. On Benson, their shortstop, who is 1 for 3 today. First and second, the runners, nobody gone. 8 1 Ohio. Line drive, center field, dropping fast, but Peterson's there. It hung up for him. Head high catch with two hands. It was coming right at him. Benson hit it right on the screws. First out of the inning. Here's Nick Arrivo, two for three today. Plays a good left field as well. Harris back of Bunkel. Ohio hasn't used a whole lot of pitchers in this series, which is another good thing. One gone, runners on first and second. Their cleanup hitter, Arrivo, takes a strike. 0 and 1. Next one from Harris. Slapped foul back a home and out of play. Reds did win 7 3 over the Pirates. That is their fifth win in 28 tries this year. They are 5 and 23. And this one belongs to the Reds. This one belonged to the Guardians today, too. They won 4-3 over the Blue Jays. They are 14 up and 14 down. Bouncing ball off the foot of Bonkel, or rather on uh, Harris at the top of the mound. Trickles to third, no play. Bases loaded now. Arrivo hit it hard. Off the shoe of Harris. Just kind of trickled towards third. And there was no play. Bases loaded now for the Zips. And... Hold on, there's one gone. We're in the eighth. Ohio on top, 8-1. Run already in here for the Zips. 
right on left. Schellenbarger's the batter. He's 0 for 2. Takes this one to left. Stays in the park. Harbert there. Circles it. Makes the catch. Tagging from third and scoring on the play is Pennington. It is an 8-2 game now on the fly out to left by Schellenbarger. Two gone. Runners on first and second. Wargo stays at second. Arrivo at first. Ohio's lead cut down to just six. Here's Sprocket, who's 0 for 3. First one to him's a strike. Right on left here. Ohio in green tops, white pants. Gray traveling uniforms for the Zips. As you see some of the shadows from uh, the light standards on the field now. Fly ball foul, third base side out of play. Now the light standard, third base side, shadow out towards short. Press box out close to home plate, shadows there. And the pitch fouled off to the Akron dugout. 0-2 the count on Sprocket. Series of signs from Finney. Harris now comes set. 0-2. Oh Low, 1-2. and two. Yankees walked off the Rangers today. 2-1 in the Bronx. They're 19-7. Texas 10 and 15 on the year. Orioles lost to the Royals 6-4. One two pitch. Laid the bat on the ball, popped it up. Way up there, back a third, near foul ground. Long run, Dolan makes the catch. <laughs> Inning over. Akron scores two. No shutout today. 8-2 cats as we go to the bottom of the eighth inning in Athens. And we are presented by Hugh White. If the deal's right, must be Hugh White. This is Bobcat Baseball. Eight, eight, and two for the defenders of the Hawking. Two, nine, and two for the visitors from the Rubber City. Bottom of the eighth inning is on. Kahook still out there for the Zips out of the pen. Hindigas leads it off here for Ohio. Xavier one for one today. He's walked. He scored twice, and the first one misses upstairs. It's one and zero. Oh. Bottom of the eighth inning. Ohio on top by six. Right on right here in the pitch. There's a strike. It's one and one.
And the pitch. Fly ball to right. Very playable for Schellenbarger. In and makes the catch. Out number one. Back top side, Isaiah Peterson. He supplied the big blast to the ball game. A three-run shot out of here to right. That was part of the fun of the five-run fourth. That was a while ago. Fly ball foul, third base side out of play. O one one pitch, upstairs, one and one. Wraparound series two tomorrow. We haven't, have we had one of those this year? I don't think so. Line drive, center field, sinking fast in there for a base hit. Got it off the end of the bat. Pennington tried to deke the runner, but uh, that's a, a dump in there ahead of the deke. Here's A.J. Roush. That's where Fielder will hold the glove up as if he's going to make a play on the ball potentially to slow down a runner or whatever. Here's Colin Kasperbauer. He and Harbert have two hits today. Roush does. Nope. Yep, Roush does as well. So Harbert, Kasperbauer, Roush, and Peterson, multi-hit efforts. One gone, runner at first. A.J. Roush at the plate as Peterson got that single. Roush one for three. Last of the eighth, Ohio on top, 8-2. And the pitch. Popped him up on the infield. Near the bag at second. There's Benson. Makes the catch. Two gone, runner at first. Ohio up 8-2 here. So that's 25-8. to eight. They've outscored the Zips in the series, winning 12-4, 5-2, 8-2 now. The opposition scores nearly nine runs a game against the Zips. They score four on average. Bouncing ball to short, skips off the mound. Benson picks that up, up and runs to the bag for the force out. And the inning's over. We head to the ninth, 8-2 Cats. This is Bobcat Baseball. Ninth inning of Bobcat Baseball, supported by CareSource. Individual and family insurance, CareSource covered with kindness. The key to this one, supported by CareSource, is getting three more outs to paint this one green and white and go three for three in the series to set up a sweep tomorrow. Chase Harris back out there for Ohio in the ninth. 
And this would be a innings save for him, would it not? Yeah. First pitch, bouncing ball by Hera off the glove of Casper uh, Bauer at third. He dove to try to get it, and it's an infield hit. Did well to get there. 8-2 Ohio here in the ninth. Here's Reinhardt. So Chase Harris trying to conclude things and make Bonkel the winner. And the pitch. There's a strike. It's 0-1. Ohio trying to improve to 23 and 19 and 15 and 12. Harris from the stretch. And a balk is called. Started and stopped and started again. Or whatever it was that the home plate umpire saw. That's the first balk of the ball game. Runner at second now. And the pitch. Strike called. Runner at second and the pitch from Harris. Inside. One and two the count. Ohio is not trailed in this series. Five in the fourth, one in the fifth, one in the sixth, one in the seventh, two for the Zips in the eighth. They've out hit Ohio 10-9. Down six, though, the pitch from Harris. Called, strike three, fastball, yes, sir, rushed it right past him. Standing there, looking at it, at the knees. Strikeout for Chase Harris. That is his third, sixth for Bobcat pitching. Reinhardt out on strikes, 0 for 4 today, struck out three times. Here's Barr, and he takes a strike, it's 0-1. Barr 0 for 3 with the run scored. One gone in the ninth, runner on its second. Ohio on top by six as a warm breeze starts to blow. This one's up and in. One and one the count. You could feel it getting a little warmer, and the breeze is an indication of that. A couple of weeks ago, it was a chilly breeze. Heck, <laughs> yesterday it was. One one, swing and a miss. Tailed away from him, came up empty. One and two the count. Harris trying to conclude a three inning save. At second, Itara. One two pitch. Bouncing ball through the right side hole base hit. Hitting third, scoring without a play is Hara. It is eight three now. Single to right by Barr. Back top side to Pennington. And give the Zips credit. Again, it's not been a good year and hasn't been a fun series for them for sure. They're still scratching and clawing here in the ninth. Down by five. Two outs to go. Foul back to the screen by Pennington. He, Wargo, Arivo, who has three hits, and Hara, multi-hit zips. Lazy Sunday, long day at the ballpark. And the pitch, up and away. One and one the count. On Pennington, their leadoff center fielder. Next one from Harris, low. Two and one the count. 
this offense can score some runs now, Ohio. And pitching needs to support that and has. Fly ball, right field deep. Uh-oh, Roush back, warning track wall gone. Pennington pops one out of here. This thing's not done yet. It's 8-5, two-run big fly for Pennington. And again, give them credit. They're still fighting here in the ninth. They're down three. There's one gone in the ninth. Here's Tate Wargo. Got to get all 27 of the required outs. Ohio's at 25 of them right now. Right on right, one gone. That was a big fly, and he knew it, too. Swing and a miss. 0-1. That's one thing that we haven't had the benefit of. Uh, I would assume Akron hasn't either. Warm weather aiding the flight of balls. We just haven't had it yet. Normally you get at least a couple of weekends of those up to this point, but we haven't experienced it, and I'm sure the Zips haven't either. 0-2 the count. Lays the bat on the ball, floats it in the center. It's a base hit. Wargo on. Well, here's Cameron Benson, their three-hole hitter. And time called, Tim Brown out to the mound. Bobcat bullpen going to have to get cranked up here. One gone in the ninth, three in. The Zips have scored five unanswered runs. They've outhit Ohio 13-9. Can Ohio get two more outs before Akron could score three more runs? That's the question right now. They've left seven. Ohio's left seven. And so those insurance tallies that Ohio had in the 5th, 6th, and 7th innings, you needed every bit of those. Tying runners in the on-deck circle now. Long meeting broken up. Tim Brown politely says thank you, Mr. Umpire, and runs away. He's a nice man. All right, here we go. Harris for Benson. He's one for four today. Double play ends it, and the pitch. Overthrew it outside. Want to know the count. Orivo's on deck. He's three for four. Eight five the score in the ninth. Right on left. And the pitch. Line drive, left center field, base hit. Over to get it, Peterson flying around second and going into third with the slide. Is Wargo, runners on the corners here. Here is Nick Arivo. He's three for four. He represents the tying run. Twenty-seven outs for a reason. It is turbulent now, and the Bobcats again just want to land the plane. They didn't want to have to go to the pen, and they're going to now. Pitching change, pressure moment. Credit to the Zips; they didn't stop playing, and unfortunately, Ohio's in a situation where they have to go to the bullpen to try to save it. So the situation: runners on the corners, one gone. Top of the ninth, three already in, five unanswered for the Zips. Ohio leads it eight-five. Two outs left. Pause for the pitching change. This is Bobcat baseball.
At one point, Ohio was on top 8 nothing, and you didn't think that they'd have to go to the closer at any point during the game, but they go to the closer now. Runners on the corners, one gone top of the ninth, 8-5. Ohio leads. Brett Manis in, looking for his fourth save. 14th appearance, 4-2 and two this year, 3.75 ERA, 35 strikeouts, 6 walks. He's in there now to try to slam the door. Arivo at the plate, 3 for 4 today. Left on right in the ninth in the pitch, outside 1-0. Oh. 2 in the eighth, 3 in the ninth, 14 hits for the Zips. Out hitting Ohio, 14-9. Ohio's on top, 8 nothing. it's 8-5 now. 1-0 pitch from Manis. Fly ball down the line and right towards the bullpen, out of play. Hit it well the other way, but it's fouled. Count level at a ball and a strike. His parents here this weekend. Just a really nice family. His mom and dad, just really nice people. 1-1 one one the count and the pitch. An emergency hack is fouled back to the screen. Two strikes and a ball on Ohio's, or for Ohio's closer, Brett Manis. One and two the count. One gone in the ninth. Orivo, their left fielder. Two white batting gloves. Kind of rocks that front foot back of the right-handed batter's box in the pitch. Fouled off again. First runs in the games, uh, game was scored in the bottom of the fourth inning. The game had a, had a lull about it. And then Ohio grabbed the lead. Hasn't trailed. 1-2 pitch. That's fouled off to the Bobcat dugout, to the netting above the dugout. And Akron could look at leaving runners on base earlier. Pennington... The homer, two runs shot in the inning. They've scored three here in the ninth. One and two the count with one gone. Manis for Arivo. Low, two and two. That's a good eye. That was close. Just popped out of the mid of uh, Finney for a moment. Two and two the count. Benson at first, Wargo at third. 2-2 pitch from Manis to Arivo in the ninth with one gone. Low, in, 3-2. and two. Hudson Bonkel pitched well. Chase Harris, eight up innings. Got one out here in the ninth. Pressure's on now. 3-2 and two the count. Here it is for Arivo. Bouncing ball left side of the infield. Casper Bauer there. Throws to second one. On to first late. Two gone. Run in. 8-6. Scoring from third on the play. Wargo. Dolan to Hendigas for the force out at second. To get Benson. Ohio's lead is two. And it comes down to Schellenbarger, who hit a homer yesterday. Two gone in the ninth, 8-6 Ohio. And the pitch, swing and a miss, went down fishing. 0-1 the count. Six unanswered for the Zips over the last two innings now. Two gone to the ninth, Ohio on top by two. Manis trying to slam the door. This is tapped up the first baseline, flagged by Baker. Little dance off, and he tags the runner, and this one's done. Thank you, Ohio wins, Ohio wins, Ohio wins. 8-6 the final. Eight runs, nine hits, two errors for Ohio. Six runs, 14 hits, two errors for Akron. Winning pitcher Bonkel, 
Losing pitcher Steinbaugh. Save Manis. Time of the ball game, two and a half hours or thereabouts. Ohio sets up a sweep chance tomorrow as a 23 and 19 and 15 and 12 ball club. Akron 13 and 34 and 11 and 24 in the MAC. Thanks to Jordan Bowes for his work in the room to my right. I'm Russ Eisenstein repeating today's happy finals. Ohio won it 5 2 in the opener of the doubleheader, wins it 8 5 in the finale, and they set up a sweep chance tomorrow. Airtime 12 50, first pitch 1 o'clock. Good evening from Athens, and happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. This is Bobcat Baseball.